Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 and Windows 10, as many of you may know, has a useful feature called Alt and Tab. So if I press Alt and Tab on my keyboard, that displays the apps that are currently running in the background that are open. And I can choose whichever app I want to be displayed on my screen. And also, if I am running Microsoft Edge with open tabs, that will also display the most recent open tabs if I'm using Microsoft Edge with open tabs. Now, in regards uh, to the Alton tab, um, the Windows enthusiast Zeno over on Twitter has spotted um, a small but useful feature that Microsoft is uh, currently um, working on and testing in the Windows 11 Insider program that may, um, to some extent, benefit the performance of the Windows um, 11 operating system when using the snapping feature, where um, Microsoft now is limiting the number of tabs shown when using snapping in Windows 11. Now, um, currently in the stable version, just to kind of give you a general idea as to what I'm talking about in case you're unaware, in the stable version of Windows 11, if we head over to the Windows settings, system page and we click on multitasking yeah we get our snapping that's available and yeah you'll see a feature called show microsoft edge tabs when snapping or pressing alt and tab as mentioned now currently in the stable version we only have these options in the fly out don't show tabs three most recent tabs five most recent tabs and then all tabs so that means if you have a microsoft edge open with as an example 50 tabs all tabs will be displayed, which obviously, um, when you are using Alt and Tab, can use system resources. Now, um, if we just head over to a screenshot um, that was provided by Zeno over on Twitter, just to give us a general idea um, as more or less what to expect, because this is a feature that's been tested uh, in the inside of program. Yeah, we see the same system multitasking. There's the snap feature, and yeah. It now says show tabs from apps when snapping or pressing Alt and Tab. So over and above are the first three options available in the stable version, don't show tabs, three most and five most recent tabs. Um, instead of showing all tabs, it now says 20 most recent tabs. So basically Microsoft has put a limit, as mentioned, on the number of tabs that will be shown when snapping and using the snapping feature which um, could basically reduce the impact tabs can have on the system memory and the system performance. Um, so if you are using the snapping feature and the alt and tab um, feature as demonstrated, then that could be a handy option when it comes to saving system resources in the future where you only can show the 20 most recent tabs instead of all tabs, which I actually think, as I would say, could be a nice move in the right direction. And uh, um, at this stage, um, according to uh, Zeno over on Twitter, um, all the insider builds have received this new feature. So because of that, that means the Canary channel, the Dev channel, and the Beta channel, um, they've all received the same feature um, over the last while. So that means that there is a good chance that um, the feature could roll out um, to the Moment 3 update, which will be the next wave of new features, which could possibly roll out in May and or June, a little bit later on uh, this year, as I have been posting on. But just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, Alton Tabs now has a couple of uh, improvements now that could save a bit of system resources by limiting those most recent tabs using the snapping feature to the 20 most recent tabs. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.